Russian President Vladimir Putin arriving in the northern city of Yakutsk before he heads to North Korea, his first visit there after 24 years. He'll be accompanied by Russian Defense Minister Andrei Belousov, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, among others. The visit will include one-on-one -on -one discussions between the two leaders. A gala concert, state reception, honor guards, document signings and a statement to the media have been planned. There's a buzz that North Korea is preparing for a possible military parade in downtown Pyongyang. It's a visit closely watched by the United States and its allies South Korea and Japan. Ahead of his visit, the North Korean media put out the statement from the Russian leader who promised to build trade and security systems with North Korea that are not controlled by the West. We will develop alternative mechanisms of trade and mutual settlements that are not controlled by the West and jointly resist illegitimate unilateral restrictions. And at the same time, we will build an architecture of equal and indivisible security in Eurasia. Putin also appreciated North Korea's support to the war in Ukraine. His statement said, We highly appreciate that the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is firmly supporting the special military operations of Russia being conducted in Ukraine, expressing solidarity with us on major international issues and maintaining the common line and stance at the UN. And that's not the only message Putin is sending out. Timed with this visit, the Pacific Fleet of the Russian Navy will begin a 10-day exercise in the Pacific Ocean, close to the waters of Japan and South Korea, in the Sea of Japan and the Sea of Okhotsk. The Russian Defense Ministry put out a video of naval vessels, including a submarine leaving port in Vladivostok in Russia's Far East and heading out to the open sea. The drills involve about 40 ships, boats and support vessels, around 20 naval aircraft and helicopters. That includes long-range anti-submarine aircraft as well as anti-submarine and search and rescue helicopters. The sailors will practice anti-submarine operations, defending ship detachments at sea, joint missile strikes against ships belonging to a hypothetical enemy, the ministry said. They will also train in repelling drone and unmanned attacks and perform a set of practical training and combat exercises.